Yes, our guest today is a very talented poet. Na unajua kuna kuna ile voice. Na shout it. I see I see shout out like more than that. But anyway, I'm sure his name gives him away. I'm talking about none other than Lexus Mshahiri. Yes, 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 yes. Thank <laughs> you. Karibu sana. Hata kifanya mic check alikuwa 1 2. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Lazima unini. Lazima ungee kama mshairi. Si ndio? Yes, yes, yes. Karibu sana. Thank you for having me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell so, us a bit about you. Yes. Lexus Mshairi. Yeah. Is that your name? Uh, my actual name ni Nzolo Mudama. Aha. Mudama. Uli hapa jina yako kaenda. Tell us about it. Okay, why Lexus? Where did where, where did the name come from? Lexus. Mm. Now, uh, my English name ni Alex. Mhm. Mm oh, okay. So, right. I kind of like Licheza rezo leta sa mbani kwa mbani. Aha, ukona hii ina, ina sound mshairi. Yeah, then that's how it is. And then the mshairi bit is because of poetry. Aha, mhm. So yeah, I've been doing poetry for, I think, five years right now, but professionally for around three years. Mhm. Ili anza 2016. Okay. And kiwa high school. Nice. That's why everyone discovers their talents. Ume notice vile ni meka hiyo high school. Mini mkava. Oh, ni ato sama high school. Ah! Iza mahe chizi na tu sumbuanga by the way. So you have to pronounce it really. Let's say my high school. Ata na kizungu yote yuko pata tu left. Let's say my high school. I'm a air. Yeah, yeah. Like for you know what you have on your head. But where did your where did your love for poetry begin? Because obviously, in a field high school is where you discover yourself, but the interest started earlier. Yeah. So first of all, I took a big up Budangu, my father. Nazo na nicheki. Oh, that's nice. Reason reason I'm big up ni ju. My father is a creative. Oh, uh, nice. Is he into exactly? poetry, music? Yeah, he's into music. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Uh, the kind okay. of jazz, mm -hmm. kind of um, Live band rumba. Things. Yeah, nice. and all that stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, ni me grow na that environment yake, mm -hmm. kuni foster. And I remember, ni likuwa ni meanza off, for, for more ni likuwa ni meanza kama dancer. Mm -hmm. So, kuanza ku dance, dance, and then there's a guy we used to dance with. Mm -hmm. And then, ju, Budangu wako very much involved in the artistic scene, mm -hmm. especially in the eastern region, Matako yetu. Mm -hmm. Oh, Budangu wa nito Sokomoko Jazz. That's ah. a, I should point it out here. <laughs> oh, so, nice. yeah, Sokomoko Jazz. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, so he went, he went kwa the, the videographer mwenye uwa mm -hmm. and then I find some video. Mm -hmm. Kumbe the video alicheki, mm -hmm. ilikuwa some friend of mine to mm -hmm. another dancing in and then I'll come to some music nice. some music video okay so uh, from there I could like if your friends can do it mm. why can't you do yeah, it, you can do it. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's nice. especially if kakiangalia like you you're of the same age and mm -hmm. everything so I can pair record yake yeah. and some cassettes mm -hmm. so what I used to do ni go nenda kujifungia kwa ofisi wakati akuko busy sana mm -hmm. just I'll just write ni jo mali nitaelekea oh, wow. nikajishuku sana na futa futa mm -hmm. anafuja mm -hmm. kusikia apati kitu oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, but eventually, and then um, I could find all my poetry, mm -hmm. especially uh, up from three. I kind of, I kind of wanted to make some rap music, mm -hmm. so I kind of converted the rap music into, into poetry. poetry. Right. Which was the other okay. way around, from poetry yeah, yes, to music. Yeah. Yeah. That's how most people do it. <laughs> That's how most people do it. <laughs> so yeah, okay. Quite yeah. interesting. But how has the journey been? You know, it's been three years mm -hmm. professionally, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, is all three years. I'm sure it's gonna plus twenty twenty, which we're not sure whether yeah. it was a year, ama yeah. it was. Hey, it's one long year. Twenty twenty. 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 Uh, mm -hmm. I have my first album wow. in it. Yeah, in a it poetry it album. Yeah. yeah, poetry, infusion of poetry and uh -huh. live music. So is it like spoken word? Yes, yeah, spoken nice. word, poetry, okay. and then music. Because I am a, yeah. an, a poet plus an instrumentalist. Mm -hmm. I play the guitar mm -hmm. and then learning the piano. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so. Multi talented. We try. Trans in the family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh -huh. my first guitar name is Ali Nibaya. That's why I'm a big guitar. Oh, man, that is so <laughs> nice, I think your dad, man. Your dad is like, you know, want my son to take after, you know. What yeah. I was doing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, I I have done my first album. Mm -hmm. It's actually ready. Mm -hmm. Um, launching it mm -hmm. on November sixth okay. at the National Theatre. Right. Yeah. So I don't know if you're familiar with these guys. I have appearances from Mufasa. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. yeah, Mufasa. Mm -hmm. There is a lady who is born to Achieng, mm -hmm. and then there is another guy. Oh, Achieng. Achieng was here. Yes. So Achieng yeah. yeah. is part of mm -hmm. part of um, the launch, as yeah. well as the guy called Tofan. Okay. So uh, advanced tickets are going for 800 shillings, mm -hmm. and at the gate ni thau, mm -hmm. na prize eco inclusive of the album. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Point to note actually. Oh, well point, point, point to note. You're literally buying the album. You're literally buying the album. Nothing else. Nice. Okay, that's <laughs> really nice. Okay, that's really nice. We just like you're buying the album and then yeah. we're giving you a free show. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, so you can you get the album and a free show. Yeah, that's so amazing. That's a good. Pr- that's some good. Price. Yeah, your money is going to yeah. a good place. Also, the till you didn't say me till now. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Thank go you. Yeah, till now. Till ah, thank you. Till number ni nine fourteen, fifty fifty three. One more time. Nine fourteen, fifty fifty three. Or you can actually follow me. Okay. Then uta. Amazing. Obviously, we'll get to the social, social, social media handles. Asante. So, um, where do you, where does your poetry, yeah. like, where, what's your inspiration? Is My it, inspiration. Is it like from the heart? Me, people write from the heart. I'm like, what are you thinking? <laughs> like, what is your heart? That is amazing. Yeah. Anyway, so is it from the heart? Is it experience? Is yeah. it, what is it? I try so much to document experiences. Okay. Especially um, what I've gone through or what I've gone through. And especially, I try to kind of talk about the soul, per mm-hmm. se, it's kind of mystical, but at the same time, ni what mm-hmm. reality we are in. Mm-hmm. And I'm um, trying to enhance awareness, mm-hmm. trying to provoke consciousness. Mm-hmm. And I kind of write both in English and Swahili or mm-hmm. Sheng. Mm-hmm. But then uh, most of the time, we perform in English. I, in, in Swahili, actually. Okay, okay, in okay. Sheng, because I kind of feel it's more. Relatable. Ken- yeah, we we'll say mm. Kenyans what are more relate if mm. I'm to pass any message. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I've, been, I've been doing it, Sana, but then I've written. Mm-hmm. I, I have a book to be published in a group. Of mm-hmm. friends of ours in it, oh Rafinki. Nice. So it's Rafinki. poetry and Rafinki. Rafinki. From Rafinki. The, oh, from the word Rafiki. That's so funky. Yeah, and then because Rafinki. of the, okay. the end, because of the ink. You oh get it? <laughs> yeah, like this is why you are a poet. Like, yeah, this yeah? is why uh-huh. you are a poet because you think that quick. So can you freestyle a, a, a poem? Yeah, I can do. I can do a poem. Do something for us. Um, when March, I'm in Tengewa. March, in a Tengewa. Kweli watanielewa nikiwasho nimeshikiliwa na luck watataka kujua ama bado wata insist ni give back ku give back in a sack ila nambiwa even ndo ina work especially kasi unajaribu kuvuna opportunities hakuna no suna umejaribu ji stabilize ndo na realize vile unainamiwa kuna wengine nyuma yako pia wanahitaji kuinuliwa kujua ni nani specific sasa hapo ndo inakuwa ngumu so unajua sisi wote tuki stretch mkono kushika piece yake kitatan sumu sini hukumu juu pia mimi najaribu or maybe sijajaribu enough eleweni sijafua daf falaf njia bado ni raf ya sana mtandao ni sina wingi wala nina kasemu tu na kasemu kenyewe bala ila nitashare simlitaka ni share nitashare ni sikume yangu kamati isikike nilioanza nao pia wafike mali nimefika na zaidi na jitahidi na acknowledge that maybe naweza kuwa nimefanya makosa ila pia mimi nataka sosa tumbo yangu kama yenu iko na msiba wisdom haitoshi nataka shiba spita akaniba akanembia ni too much of a commitment kwa msanii if you want to be then kuna vitu key for now itabidi umelenga nataka kujijenga kujengea wengine kama noa foundation ni weak hesitant na ogopa kujibomoa maswali ka Nitai toboa ndio akanikalisha na slim shaka hivi ndo akanisho kaka maisha hawezi ibain ni ngumu sana kusema na define labda we express na hivyo express nikajipata nagin kwa mikongo za pioneers kulizia experience yao by the years iniongoza mi na my peers generation ya pili jo mali naelekea tujue ni times gani ya tufai kukea na ni wins gani specific za kusherekea bado simba nini yangu naitegea scratching nini kwa hapa juu nini nafaa kudu na no uliza dof mkuu tukiwa tau tunapiga mguu ananishow vile anahisi kuwa chenye tunajenga ni beyond sisi ni strive jukai ni kitu napenda then nafaa kuwa ready kujitoa kafara ku face asara ju labda success yangu sawa na asara nitajifungua uzeni <laughs> mkiniona na kuja niondokeni hipupa ni juu na dai wa madeni ya platforms opportunities wa nyumbani wanadaijulikana na wanataka do msanii kio cha jamii sasa mimi nina pressure pressure ya kubikamu bidhi na mtumia salamu kumuuliza ananiuliza hii yetu ni bin ama ni kubikamu hii yetu guys i hope ni bin ama ni kubikamu I hope you guys are doing this man. Well, if you I watch if you watch poetry, you know like he deserves all the and he will be back because clearly Jamaliza and he has more to say and I'm so amazed right now. This is amazing. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Okay. We just Wow, he just continues to amaze. Did you know that he can also rap and 
song write? Wow. So, um, yeah. w- w- how did you learn how to write? I know you started by, you know, trying to write music. Yeah. And then it ended up being poetry. Yeah. But like, I, I hear a lot of songwriters saying they listen to so and so, or they read so A, B, C, D. Yeah. Like, how did you personally learn, learn how to write? No, yeah, I, I have mentors within the industry. Okay. Especially in the poetry industry. Mm-hmm. Um, we have guys like um, Dauphin. Mm-hmm. We have guys like Kim Chokera. Mm-hmm. I've had to, like, um, come across different people as I grow. Junima Toka Machakos. So, like, Uktoka Machakos. Hometown. There's only one other anyway, person here. <laughs> it's okay. I'm you sorry. know, we're rapping. We're rapping. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um, Nikingia Tao, Nilikuwa na so much. Ju unatujaribu experience everything mm-hmm. at once. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you're young, mm-hmm. there's so much going on. Hot blood is running through your body. Yeah, you just yeah, can't so stay so still. So, so <laughs> you're trying to find people to identify with. Mm-hmm. So, our Senika Patana now, and then. I was learning how to kind of twist my writing into a particular way. Maybe mm-hmm. you can book or conscious or you can be anything. Mm-hmm. But you can birth a new style. True. Mm-hmm. You can learn from people but necessarily so do your own thing. Yeah, yes. So, so okay. I, had, I had to learn it and then you can imagine most poets don't actually play instruments. That's true. So when, when That's I your voice. Yeah, when when, yeah. when now you have the instrument and mm-hmm. now you can write. Mm-hmm. So it becomes entirely your new right. style if yeah. Okay. So I kind of can you bath too you went out. But let me ask you, what inspires the content that you write? Yeah. Well um what sort of content do you look at or are you free to write, you know, whatever that comes to mind, yeah. whatever that's trending? What inspires your content? Again, uh, we talked about experiences. Mm-hmm. And most importantly, why I focus so much on ex- experiences mm-hmm. Niju Niko in a position to humanize whatever mm-hmm. we are going through. Mm-hmm. Maybe um say I could depressed per se. Mm-hmm. I cannot really pull someone out of depression, but if I add mm-hmm. stress at some point mm-hmm. and I kind of share it in my book or anything, mm-hmm. you can actually kind of resonate and find my perspective towards mm-hmm. me finding the light. Yeah. So if I, s- I just take my perspective on mm-hmm. it, you can actually find your own way out of it. Mm-hmm. So si feel kamana is a kuja to kuku advice. I don't know what you're going through exactly. Yeah. So I just try to ex- uh, try to share what I have gone through mm-hmm. and what I have had people or mm-hmm. and then just hope it up say light ko patiake. So I kind of try to focus on what I could identify as unique individuals, mm-hmm. what I could jukubali as what they are, mm-hmm. uh, kukubali limitations and strengths mm-hmm. are, and then just move on with life. Amazing. Oh. And uh, let's talk about uh, Kipepeo. What was the inspiration behind that? And why did you decide to do it as a song and not as a poem? As a poem. Yeah. Um, Oh, so Kipepeo is off my album as okay. well. Oh, mm-hmm. it's, part, it's part of my album. And what Kipepeo basically talks about mm-hmm. is seeking. Okay. Per se, and the most common or the basic um, inspiration, I'm saying, check it too entirely at Afkiria, mm-hmm. or maybe it's love that you're seeking. Mm-hmm. But anybody and Zaku wanna seek anything. Yeah. Especially when you're young, mm-hmm. you want to, you're a young creative, you want to blow up, you want to walk up. You want to walk up. Yeah, you're young, you have a privilege of going to college. Mm-hmm. I study in KU. Mm-hmm. So I, I have had your privilege to talk to my Machakos to continue yeah, study okay. Machakos for my entire high school and all that yeah, place. And, and, then then like like KU. KU and then you're in for a With okay. its great reputation. Yeah. Ah! Amazing <laughs> reputation. Yes, yes. <laughs> but are you w- what you're studying, does, is, is it in line with what you like to do? I study psychology. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, that's, um, ah, that's did, I didn't expect that's that, but that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So why psychology? Yeah. You feel like whatever you're studying right now, it's um, helping you when it comes to you writing poetry and now you're able to tap into the emotions of people. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I think it is because normally what psychology does, mm. uh, you know, normally when I tell someone I'm studying psychology, soon I'll watch it. Yeah, it doesn't work like it's that. It's <laughs> not like what you study yes. are, are the, um, kind of patterns. People's uh, patterns because y- we all have yeah, them. Yeah. When the patterns now lead to a particular behavior or mm-hmm. a particular line of thought. Mm-hmm. So once you learn in the past, you mm-hmm. can actually predict what they're going through. Yeah. But then um, when on the issue Nikwa Sema maybe on mental health, mm-hmm. uh, I think um, the formal setting, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's bad on functional, but I kind of feel like the formal setting of someone sitting there and you're sitting here and mm-hmm. it's a youth mm-hmm. and a far expressed in a field, yeah. it's kind of not really out of date, but people want to kind of aku engaged. Mm-hmm. So there's a way to use art to do that, like unaza tengeneza mosaics mm. or collage. Mm-hmm. Like umsa atakuwa, if at all kama anafijet, unaza mpeki tiyo ku. So normally, with ye kufanya fanya hizo vitu, mm-hmm. ata manage kuji express. Mm-hmm. But si lazima akuwa mbiyevi of formal. It's very tense kukaa kwa formal setting. Yeah, yeah. like so how are you feeling? Yes. It's really very weird. Especially <laughs> the young people yeah, right now. Yeah, so yeah. So, so do you prefer, would you like in future prefer to work with the younger generation, like kids? Yeah. M- more than adults? 
not oh, really, not really uh, adults, but in between, let's say, between the age of 16 mm -hmm. and around 35 okay, years. Okay. I kind of feel like we have a lot in common in terms of struggles. Yeah. And um, I think art ni one way you could bridge nice. that, mm -hmm. that, that line in your Okay. okay. True. But what's your take on the um, poetry industry in Kenya? Yeah. It's not that, you know, I, I call it yeah. a few poets have come here and yes. they're like, poetry, mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. yeah. then they like pursue it. Mm -hmm. So what's your take on, you know, the current situation in our country yeah um i i i i call i'm a new tragedy first and is a second generation poet mm -hmm. uh -huh. what i'm trying to say is that i have like a whole bunch of guys who came before me or mm. the likes of me mm -hmm. like me nilianza poetry 2016 there are guys who started off like six years before 2016 yeah. kina the mofasa mm -hmm. teardrops and all those people mm -hmm. started way or before cc yeah. so after 2016 took a kuwa birthed mm -hmm. and necessarily in a manisha um was on the grow mm -hmm. entirely the craft has grown it if kama shinani mimi mtu wa machako sijiji najua poetry na nili experience nikiwa high school na bado ni kongo like imefichwa bado mbali and we able to grow and learn to associate na crowd mm -hmm. so necessarily in terms of kuingia ingi huko ndani it has but then the problem is trying to now it accumulates into cash because yeah. now when it's very young like 10 years or 15 years old ni had to understand yeah, yeah. yeah understand where exactly the money is yeah. maybe una corporate kiasi mm. now you just unajifunga na wao unakula your cake peke yako ama unapea kwa wasi kiasi so it's still bado a struggle for people to actually make an honest living mm -hmm. entirely like msana mm -hmm. make a living entirely any poet to understand mm -hmm. poetry and that's it mm -hmm. so okay it, so i think that's the biggest struggle that's nice so maybe like some final words to you know people who have been your ride or die so far and yeah. like your new fans yeah. before we close the show yeah spread love mm -hmm. that's one mm -hmm. two i have an album <laughs> come to my launch <laughs> november 6th uh -huh. yeah give them all the details theater. one more time and then your social media handles <laughs> thank you um so um, i'm launching my album in it dreams the tomorrow mm -hmm. at the national theater mm -hmm. November 6th from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. and then ukitoka kwa hiyo place tutatoka na album. So mm -hmm. um, advance tickets ni sonane mm -hmm. gate ni 1000 mm -hmm. till number ni 914 50 53 914 50 53 as well you can follow me on social media which is Lexus Mshairi L E X A S Mshairi on all social media platforms. Amazing. All right, thank you so much for joining us today. I feel like you should close with like a car freestyle but i feel like i'll get very distracted <laughs> and i'll forget so guys let me just tell you first yeah. sky girls is coming up you know special guest edition you know sky girl got you with all the fun entertaining interviews and so much more so make sure you catch that after this but for me it's goodbye and from lexus 20 kazi rap watch unipe sina hisa nika ukicheki kladi au mradi busara ni za mahatma ganthi Mistari nazo ni sik kuni screen wani peleke kumbu luhadi. Washa ati wana campaign ni abstain kafein. Tell me, what do you stand to gain wakati umeniweka mali ya kuna lava lafu? Me na my like minds to nai bring daru to kizige uza spring below ana kuja show wana chazi me bounce kijana wa home slow in the house you. Me a swim na dolphins wase me ni mekuwa well. Kisima, wanipe sigara, tai, itazima, vitu na mwaga, ganga, roga ni siroke, noga ni sinoke.